Hello everybody, welcome to YouTuber Tournament 7, episode 13. Today is the fourth and final elimination of Wave 1, which means things are about to change in this tournament. But first, we gotta get through this last elimination. So, let's start. <clears throat> so today's objective, we will count the votes for today's elimination as usual. And whoever has the most votes will get eliminated out of YouTuber Tournament 7, be the fourth person to leave the tournament, and claim 17th place in YouTuber Tournament 7. So, let's begin. So, if you haven't heard, Team Mountaineers has lost a third challenge in this entire wave, which is a bad sign for pretty much everyone on the team, as it's just not not very lucky today in their um, challenges, as they've lost three of them. Now, it's just Miss Blondie, as well as Corey Dutson and Crash Inc., are the three people you guys voted for for elimination. Now, let's see how many people voted this time. We had five votes casted this episode. There would have been more if I um, posted the polls at a normal time, but I forgot to until um, 8 a.m. So it was about like a six hour, it was six hours late, basically. Because it usually gets posted by the time I... I just finish up the last thing I need to do and then just go to sleep. But that just never happened, so yeah. That's why I came out pretty late. Actually, no, it was seven hours late, not six. I apologize for that, though. But the voting still had plenty of time for the voters to vote, though. As it was way more than 12 hours still. All right, so we had five votes casted, which is the same as last time. So even with less hours, we still maintained five people voting in the polls for elimination. Now let's get on to the next segment. The safe player for this episode is Crash Inc., who has received zero votes. Which means the other five votes are split between the remaining two players, which is Miss It's Just Miss Blondie and Corey Dutson. One of these two original team members is going home, and we will have a Team Mountaineers original champion. Meaning, whoever survives this elimination will be getting a star for... Being the be, for um, outliving the rest of your team that you started with in episode one. So there will be five champions for the wave one eventually, but as of right now, we are already about to determine one of them. For the Mountaineers. But that's not the Grand Championship. Just to let y'all know that. Alright, so. You know it's time. Now this vote. Was the closest vote we've had. In the entire tournament. As the results were very close, with a result of 3-2. to two. So it was a one-vote difference that determines who's going home. And both of these YouTubers are really good YouTubers, and I feel that they shouldn't be deserved to... Whoever's getting eliminated today doesn't deserve to leave the tournament, but by my rules, they have to. 
In fact, I believe they should go much further, as well as almost everyone in this group. But, the, but unfortunately, that's not how things worked out in the end for whoever this will be. And hopefully we will see them again in the future. Now, for the elimination, the person going home in tonight's episode with a total of three votes will be the fourth player to leave YouTuber Tournament 7 and claim 17th place in the tournament is... Corey Dutson. In all the offices, gotta find the stuff. Then I'll forward the plot. Okay. They'll just have some poses. See weird shit on the floor. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Excuse me real quick. I have to. I mention, I mention it only because the echo. Unfortunately, even though your YouTube videos did stand out, the Mountaineers losing streak was the probably the main reason why you have been voted out, as there was not much talent left in this team after all the other people got eliminated. So unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to Corey Dutson. I want to thank you for participating in this tournament. And I hope to see you in the future. And that will be that. So, if you're wondering again, Corey, vote, Corey Dutson had three votes. And it's just Miss Blondie took a big sigh of relief with just two votes. Which is not enough. But close. It was a one vote difference. So this should be a warning sign to It's Just Miss Blondie. As she's been... As this is probably the closest it's, she's gone to elimination. So for you, you may be still in this tournament. But if your videos don't improve... You won't be for much longer. Unless if your team decides not to lose in the future, in the near future. But you always got to be prepared. Because you never know who's going to lose the next challenge. Alrighty, and with that, that is the end of wave one. Which means a lot of things are going to change starting next episode. Next episode, we will be switching to Wave 2. Congratulations to all the people who have made it to Wave 2 of the tournament. The top 16 have made it to the second wave, which means challenges are going to be different. Instead of, for the future, for the next four cycles, instead of... You playing a CPU for a challenge, like we had for the last few episodes, you will be going head-to-head -head against another team. Previously, this wasn't possible when we had in Wave 1, but also starting next episode, the teams will be dropping to four. We will have four brand new teams with the remaining players and whoever it was on the previous teams, they're gone. You all are getting randomized on brand new teams. So you will have new teammates and new enemies. So be, war be warned about that. 
So if you're so if you're friends with someone on your team, not anymore. If you hate somebody from another team, possibly not anymore. So that's going to be a big change for a lot of you. Because that does mean that the teams can pot- potentially be a little bit more balanced. Especially after the beating Team Mountaineers have taken. Also next, we will begin the preliminary round one challenge. Now, what is the preliminary rounds? It's basically the rounds that determines 9th to 16th place. So this will go on for the next two waves, really. So it's not just wave two that's going to have the preliminary. It's actually going to be wave three as well. So this is preliminary round one. So good luck in that challenge. Now, what is the challenge exactly? Well, I'm pretty sure y'all's just seen the Super Bowl. So we're going to bring out football for our next challenge. Each team will get assigned a random NFL team and they will be fighting and they will going be going up against each other with one minute quarters. Whoever has the worst point differential at the end of those two games, which those matches will also be determined randomly, will lose this challenge. As as football was a pretty big sport, especially as of the huge comeback from the Chiefs today as well. To be honest, a lot of us aren't happy about that, but some of you are. But that's not what's important now. What's important now is that that is your next challenge. You will be assigned a random team. And and good luck with that. Now, and again, as always, the losing team will go up for elimination. Now, this is a little bit more significant in Wave 2 because in Wave 1, you had a 20% chance each episode of losing a challenge. This has increased to 25% now that we're going down to four teams. So, good luck, and I will see you guys in the next video of YouTuber Tournament 7.